Andrew Jackson, he always hated banks, and Old Hickory would probably be pretty ticked off at the U.S. Treasury if he were alive today. That's because the federal government just announced that they are booting Jackson off the front of the $20 bill in favor of Harriet Tubman. Tubman will be the first woman to grace paper money in the U.S. Tubman, the iconic abolitionist who helped hundreds of slaves find freedom as conductor of the Underground Railroad. She was also a union spy, nurse, and cook during the Civil War. Today, former presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson said he disagrees with the decision that there are other ways to honor Harriet Tubman. It's a notable quote since Carson was on the stage when I asked the Republican presidential candidates about this topic last September. What woman would you like to see on the $10 bill? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think uh, Susan B. Anthony might be a good choice. That's an easy one. I'd put my wife on there. <laughs> Rosa Parks. <laughs> An everyday American that changed the course of history. Well, I wouldn't change the $10 bill. I'd change the 20. I'd take Jackson off and I'd leave Alexander Hamilton right where he is as one of our founding fathers. Uh, and I very much agree with Marco that it should be Rosa Parks. I'd put my mother on there. We'll go with Rosa Parks. I like that. I would go with uh, Ronald Reagan's partner, Margaret Thatcher. Probably illegal, but what the heck. <laughs> I'd put Clara Bart. She was a great founder of the Red Cross. I wouldn't change the $10 bill or the $20 bill. I think, honestly, it's a gesture. I don't think it helps to change our history. Well, it's probably not uh, maybe legal, but uh, I would pick Mother Teresa. I'd put Abigail Adams on the bill. <laughs> All right. A chorus of critics have called for Jackson to be taken off the 20 entirely, given his shameful legacy in this nation's treatment of Native Americans, including the infamous Trail of Tears. The U.S. Treasury Department also announced today that Alexander Hamilton, with a boost from the Broadway success of a musical about his life, will get to stay on the 10, though the back of the $10 bill will be changed to honor women who fought for the right of women to vote, including Susan B. Anthony and one Alice Paul. The back of the new $5 bill will honor the civil rights movement with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Eleanor Roosevelt.